Hello kids, this is Sadhna Mishra, your computer teacher from Mount Literacy School, Jhansi. And today we are going to start our new chapter that is chapter number 6, Simple Animation with Scratch from your book, Computer Masti. As we all are aware that what is Scratch? Scratch is a computer application which you can use to give instructions that the computer understands. We can create our own animations, stories, games, etc. with using Scratch. All you can see that this is the Scratch window. In Scratch, each picture like this cat is called a sprite and the area where the sprite moves is called the stage. In the picture, you can see that some instructions are written over there and these instructions are written on the script area. Or in simple language, we can, say, we can say script area is the place where we write the script for the sprite. Now children, you can see here a blocks palette which help us to create our stories, game and animations in using scratch. So this was the quick look of Scratch which we have learned previously also. So children, today we are going to learn how to plan and sequence the steps of a Scratch program by using appropriate blocks like motion, pen, events and control to write a program and one more thing new that change the backdrop of the state. Children, we can also draw costumes for a sprite. Do you know what is a costume? What are costumes? Costumes are different looks or appearances or poses of the sprite. And we can create or edit them by using two modes of paint editor in Scratch. are having two modes of paint editor in Scratch. One is costume in vector mode you can see in the picture and one is costume in bitmap mode. Tools are also different as it's given in the picture. You can see children the tools as well. To make animation and stories, we are having several blocks on the scratch window. As you can see in script area, there is blocks palette. In blocks palette, there are several blocks which helps us to execute or run our animation properly. So, first block is control block. Control block instructions help to decide when and how to execute part of the script. By using these instructions, we can make our sprite wait, it can repeat and we can decide also how many times it should be repeated. Children, do you know that we can inform the computer as well that when to run, our, run or start our animation or any program? For that we need to mention the event at which the program will run. In this event block helps us. Event block helps us sense data which trigger the scripts to run. You can see in the picture there are several instructions which we get from events block like when flag clicked, when space key pressed, when the sprite click and many more. Children, the space key can be changed to any other key to perform specific task. We can use this instruction as well when we don't want to use the instruction when flag is clicked. If we want to run our animation or program by this instructions, we can give this instruction as well. Repeat and conditional instructions help in controlling the execution of the program as we have done it already. Now, you can see in the picture, Tejas is in the picture and he is asking about this icon which is shown in the scratch window. Stage. What is this icon for? He is asking in the picture. It is a stage icon and this icon is used to change the backdrop of the stage. Now you all are assuming that what is backdrop, right? So backdrop is the background applied on the stage and a stage can have multiple backdrops. This is similar to changing the costume of a sprite. We can select a new backdrop from the backdrop library. We can paint also a new backdrop in the paint editor by using any of the mode. 
or we can upload a backdrop also from a folder in our computers one more thing which we will find that whenever we are going to make a script for backdrop there were no instructions in motion block because backdrop can't move backdrop of the stage cannot move so there are no commands in the motion block in short we can say that big backdrop is a sprite that represents background of a project you can see on page number 105 there are two scripts are written one is for backdrop and one is for sprite so children this is understood that we have to make separate script for the backdrop there are many more instructions in the six blocks of scratch that we have learned previously and in this lecture as well now let's take a quick look on the blocks of scratch and their uses first is motion which help us it moves the sprite in all directions including forward and backward next is looks it changes the looks of for a sprite or the backdrop with costumes animates and makes the sprite say something using think or say bubble next is sound plays a sound or musical note and also changes the volume of the sound pen pen block it makes the sprite draw as it moves or changes color shade and thickness of the pen stamps the sprite's image on the stage in control block there are several instructions by them we can repeat some action uses conditional instructions like wait repeat forever and some more in events block it specifies event for animation give instruction to start the animation some instructions include when the sprite is clicked when flag is clicked when space key is pressed and some more so children now you can plan your story or game and try to animate by using scratch till then bye bye